Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the four B notes on Pythagoras and geometrical figures. Uh, at the end of this, you should be able to use Pythagorean theorem to solve special geometrical figures. All right. So first thing is let's look at those special geometrical figures. Look at, aren't these special? Rectangle, square, rhombus, isosceles, and equilateral triangles. So with this, um, again, I really hope you remember this, but rectangle, really the only thing you need to know is that all the angles are right angles, all right? With the square, same thing, all the angles are right angles, and, whoa, that's not so good. And then also another important thing to remember on this is that, goodness sakes, that I can't apparently draw diagonals on this pad, but that's all right, is that on a square, the diagonals bisect each other so that all of these sides are actually equal and then also all of these angles are right angles here as well so that's important to know about a square uh, rhombus also when you when you draw diagonals which that is not a diagonal goodness sakes um, the diagonals on a rhombus also bisect each other so this length is the same as that length and then this length here is the same as that length there and also just like the square all these angles in here are right angles okay <clears throat> on isosceles and equilateral triangles if you draw an altitude goodness sakes I will get this don't you worry Gosh, that is just terrible. Okay, we're gonna have to pretend that that's a good altitude. So, draw an altitude, those are right angles down here. And then this side is equal to that side, that's the isosceles part of the triangle. And then when you draw that altitude, this down here becomes the same length as that down there. And this is also the same. All right, so draw an altitude down here those are right angles this side's the same as that and then this side is the same as that side all right okay let's take a look at some examples all right first one we're going to take a look at is example seven from page 91 and that says the longer side of a rectangular or excuse me of a rectangle is 12 centimeters and its diagonal is 13 centimeters find the length of the shorter side and find the area of the triangle. So, I always like to draw a picture of what the heck they're talking about. For me, that always seems to make a little bit more sense. So, longer side of the rectangle is 12 centimeters. Its diagonal is 13 centimeters. Okay, let's see if I can draw a diagonal. That's not too bad, comparatively. And we know that the diagonal is 13 centimeters find the length of the shorter side. So we got to figure out what this piece over here is, right? Now again, rectangle, important part to remember is that that's a right angle. So with that, we can use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So again, the important part here is that this has got to go in for the hypotenuse. So there's 13 squared, and then we say have 12 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. All right, so that's 144 plus x squared equals 169. Subtract 144 from both sides. And we get that x squared equals 25. All right, now we don't want to know what x squared is, we want to know what x is, so we have to square root both sides. And we get x equals plus or minus 5 centimeters. <clears throat> but again, you can't have a negative length, so x is 5 centimeters. And I always like to go back and look at the, what the question asks. Um, find the length of the shorter side. So then I would just maybe write the length of the shorter side.
is five centimeters. That's gonna, that's just a little bit more, you know, X is five centimeters, but this is just a little bit more accurate of an answer, okay? So, next thing we need to do is find the area of the triangle. Well, since we have our triangle, triangle, why does that say triangle? That should say rectangle, shouldn't it? Rectangle. All right, so find the area of the rectangle. Again, we know now that this is five centimeters and this is 12 centimeters. So the area is gonna be five centimeters times 12 centimeters which gives us 60 square centimeters. So the area of the rectangle is 60 centimeters squared. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. And this is gonna be example eight from page 92. Okay, this one gives us that a rhombus have diagonal, has diagonals of length six centimeters and eight centimeters. Find the lengths of its sides. Okay, so remember a rhombus is basically just a square that got squished. Right, all the lengths of the rhombus are the same. Right, so these, all four of those sides are the same. And, golly, I cannot draw a diagonal. There we go, close enough. And so we have our diagonals here. Pardon the squiggly diagonals, but, and it gives us the lengths are six centimeters and eight centimeters. Now remember, the diagonals of a rhombus, when you, this diagonal here, is cut in half by this diagonal. And then this diagonal here is cut in half by this diagonal as well. So each of these pieces, six centimeters, just got cut in half. So each of those are three centimeters long. So this is three centimeters, this is three centimeters. And then this other diagonal got cut in half, so that's, oops, eight centimeters divided by two gives us uh, four centimeters. So this here is four centimeters, and this is also four centimeters. And remember, all these angles in here are all right angles, okay? So to maybe make this a little bit more clear, let's, let's pull one of these triangles out, So because we, we only need to find one side. Because once we find one side, we found all the sides of the rhombus, because they're all the same, okay? So, this is this piece right here, so this is three centimeters, this is four centimeters, and that's what we're looking for, right? So again, just good old Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is gonna equal C squared. X is the C in this case. So then we just do three squared plus four squared equals X squared. It's 9 plus 16 equals x squared. So x squared is 25. Square root both sides. And we get that x is, again, plus or minus 5, but we're just going to get 5 because you can't have a negative length. Okay? So the lengths of the sides of the rhombus. are five, oops, we're gonna put our tag on there, five centimeters, five centimeters. All right, okay, one last example to 